Let me walk, blessed Lord, in the way Thou hast gone, leading straight to the land above. Oh, giving cheer everywhere to the sad and the lone. Oh, fill my way every day with love. Well, fill my Salvation, I can run. 
run through a troop and leap over a wall. Hallelujah. Oh, how, oh, let's sing it again. Well, I can run through a troop. Oh, and leap over a wall. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. For he's my rock and my shield. He gives power to all. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, now I am free from condemnation. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, give the Lord a hand offering of praise this morning. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. He abides in me, therefore I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. Amen. Only because he abides in me this morning. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the key of C. Well, he's here. Elijah's God is with us today. Oh, he's here in us, the word of God on display. Behold the bride of Christ in full array. He's here, Elijah's God is, oh, let's sing that again. Oh, he's here, Elijah's God is with us today. He's here in us, the word of God on display. One more time, I'll live for 
worship you out of my spirit blessing and thanking you in our own way your heart I covet Lord your will and purpose into submission I surrender this day into the chamber be free Holy Spirit speak to me gently as I close the door heavenly lover let thy presence come kind of unending is all I long for now on my pathway the wine press falls heavy bringing forth only the best of the wine so I press toward the mark for the prize of high calling to be a part of that beauty for lady the bride into the chain again now on my pathway the wine press falls heavy bringing forth only the best of the wine so I press toward the mark for the prize of I calling to be a part of that beauty for lady and bride. Oh, into the chamber be free, Holy Spirit. Speak to me gently as I close.
like to start off by wishing all the mothers a very happy Mother's Day. God bless you and thank you for all that you do for your families, for all of us. I was uh, meditating this morning on what the comment Brother Brennan made. He said, motherhood is the backbone of the nation. So when you break motherhood, you broke the nation. And, and that statement is really interesting because the backbone in our body is what links everything together. Everything is connected by the backbone. And that's what our mothers are in our families. They are the connecting to connect everything. Not the headship, but the connection of everything. And so I thought, praise the Lord. That's such a good analogy. Brother Branham always has the best. Amen. Amen. And so we just thank, we thank God for godly sisters who will yield themselves, give up their lives to take the office of mother. And what a privilege it is. But it's, a, it's an office of privilege, but it's also an office of sacrifice. And we want to say, God bless you for your sacrifice. And we know without you, amen, if it's the backbone of a nation, it's the backbone of the family, it's also the backbone of the families in the church. And so we are all stronger because of godly mothers. And so we just want to say, God bless you today and pray that God blesses you with a wonderful, wonderful day. I know it's sometimes hard because some have lost their mothers, and Sister Jenny recently lost her mother, so it's, it's a time of rejoicing, and it's a happy time, but there's also loss as well, so we want to remember the Weingartner family uh, today as well. We'll be praying for you, Sister Jenny, and your family. May the Lord bless you. And you know, not everybody's had the privilege of being a mother, but if God has granted you that privilege, just thank him for it and, and continue to give your life for it. One thing's for sure, we all had the privilege of having a mother, and that's how God saw fit to bring us in this life, and so we're thankful we all have something to celebrate. Amen. I also want to thank Brother Tom for that song. I really enjoyed the verses. I had never heard the verses before, and that last verse especially really spoke to me. Amen. I thought that was wonderful. I also want to remind you the weekend meetings coming up this weekend. Brother Alistair will be coming in this week, and uh, we won't be, I want to remind you, we won't be having service Wednesday night. We'll be having the youth service in the fellowship hall Thursday. So that'll start everything in the fellowship hall Thursday at 7 p.m. with the youth. Then we'll be in here Friday at 7 p.m. Saturday morning will be the men's fellowship breakfast. Then Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. We're going to go 30 minutes earlier here as well. And then the regular service time at 10.30 Sunday morning. So we pray that you'll be able to make it to all the services. I'm, I'm sure it'll be quite a blessing. And if you could be in prayer this week that God will just move every hindrance out of the way. God will move and Brother Alistair with a clear inspiration and direction and God will move on our hearts to come with hearts with expectation to receive from him. So I'm looking forward to that. Amen. I also want to uh, welcome all the visitors that are here, but a special welcome to Brother Woodrow and Sister Ruby in the back there. God bless you. It's good to have you here. Brother Woodrow and Sister Ruby were baptized several weeks ago before one of the uh, Bible studies in Holmes County. So they made quite a journey over. God bless you today for that. Amen. It's good to have you. Amen. As you know, we have Brother Nestor Espanola here and his wife, Hannah. God bless you, Sister Hannah. It's good to have them back again. Brother Nestor has been such a good friend of mine for so long and a good friend to many here in the assembly. And we just look forward to having him. I've been looking forward to today. I woke up this morning excited to hear the word. Amen. Because you know I'll be in my favorite seat, pulling on the word. So let's all get excited to hear the word of God and pull. You know, there's a... I know because of the fellowship I've had with my brother Nestor, I know that God has used him in the ministry for so long and he's put a lot in that brother. And I know that I can get more if I pull a little bit, amen. So let's all pull together and see how much we can get out of our brother today and receive the word, amen. As God speaks the word and it strikes you and, and you catch it and you're like, I see it, I got it. Respond, nod your head, raise your hand, say amen, amen. So. Amen. So he knows you got it, so he can go to the next one. Amen. He got that. We'll go to the next one. And let's just receive the word. I really appreciate Brother Nestor and what he means to me personally. He's been a brother and a good, good friend. And he's, his influence has influenced me quite a bit in the ministry. And he's helped me with a lot of things. And so I just want him to know I love you, brother. God bless you. I love you. We want him to come and relax and take his liberty and move as the Lord leads him. And we want God to speak through that vessel of clay to our hearts. Amen. Let's all stand together. We're going to invite our brother to come with the song. Brother Ben, do you have a song? Oh, only be.
head for a prayer. Oh Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful day, Lord God. It's only a privilege, Lord God, for a person, Lord God, to sit, Lord God, on your feet, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord Jesus, just touch the lips of your servant and the heart of the listeners, Lord God. Lord, and open, open, Lord God, your word to the people, Lord God. Just bless us, Lord God. Bless your people. Bless the world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So before we sit, let's read the scripture. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay, that's it. See, I want to speak about uh, we are the branches, and, we, and I give it the subtitle of uh, what she is. It says here in John 15, verse 5, I am the way, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without Without me, he can do nothing. Next verse, in Revelation 10, verse 7 to 11. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he had declared to his servants, the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it, eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it, wa it, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. May the Lord add the blessing from the reading of the scripture. You all may be seated. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, I'm always uh, glad the Lord uh, made me a way to come here. So I'm, I'm in Canada this time, and this is my last leg. So by next week, I'll be going to Los Angeles and fly back home. Praise God. So this is the first time that uh, I, I only stay in one church in the in U.S. <laughs> And I like this church, okay? <laughs> because Chad, you heard him, he said he loved me. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, so last time, last year, when I came here, so I preached about the promised rain and the promised light, and then the condemnation by representation. So I wanted to wrap it up all. Praise God. See? <clears throat> Hallelujah. So in that way, you will understand, uh, you know, uh, like, like, like the scripture said, you know, and if we believe that uh, John, you know, uh, we always use John the Beloved in the book of Revelation. We type, we type, we type him uh, in the church, uh, in the ages also as a bride, you know. So if, praise God. See? So John need to eat the books, but you need to eat it open, not close. Okay? Then once you ate it, then you are commanded to prophesy again. Okay? Praise God. See, John was not commanded to preach. He was, prophes he was commanded to prophesy. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, now, before we go on, it says here, <clears throat> see, it says, now remember this, 
Christ in the true church is a continuation of the book of Acts. See, if the Holy Spirit, if Christ is in us, see, meaning uh, this church will be a continuation of the book of Acts. See, then, but the book of Revelation shows now how that the Antichrist spirit will come into the church and defile it, making it look warm, formal, and powerless. See, the book of Revelation will tell, you know, it uh, ex exposing to us, okay, what the devil is trying to do to the church. See, defile it. See, praise God. Hallelujah. Attempted to attempted destruction of God's people and discrediting of God's word right down to the time he cast into the lake of fire. See? Praise God. And he don't like people to know it. He doesn't like us to know it. Okay? That's why he said he fights that. See? He cannot stand it. He knows that if the people get the true revelation of the true church and what she is, okay? Praise God. First time I heard that, you know, when Brother Chad was in our place, he said, God, the, pro the, the message never said who she is, but the message said what she is. Praise God. See? So I was curious. You know, you know, the Filipino people, they always smile, okay? <laughs> they just smile and listen. Then we go, when we go back home, we try, to, we try to search it. If it is true, yes, the prophet never said who she is. Praise God. See, he said what she is, okay? If... If the bride will understand what she is, okay? I give this a title, We Are the Branches. Then I have this subtitle, What She Is. Amen. Meaning to say, if you know what you are. Right. Yeah. See, it is not know who you are. See, but what you are. <coughs> Praise God. See, Amen. if the bride will understand what she is, yeah. what she stands for, and what she can do, then that she can do, the greater works, she will be an invincible army. Okay, once the bride understands what she is, know what she is, then she can do a greater work. See, until you know it, you are living below your privilege. <laughs> See, if they can get if they can get a true revelation of the true spirit within the framework of Christian church and by God's spirit discern and withstand the Antichrist spirit, Satan will be powerless before her. Amen. See? Right. Praise God. So we only need to know what we are. Amen. See? If we know what we are, then you can see, praise God, the power that's in our hand. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> See now, we need to understand, like I say, you know, praise God. See, this message, like the prophet said, this is a prophetic message. I've been emphasizing it, okay? Praise God. See, it says, there are men, there are men, one different from the other, all together. And in the ministry the Lord has given me, most those men were theologians, great teachers, and scholars. Mine is not. Mine's a more of a prophetic message. The message that the, that, that the messenger is sharing to us is a prophetic message. See? When you say it's a prophetic message, it has something to do on the things that's happening before, yesterday, Today and forever. Amen. See? Praise God. And the way I think divine healing is the work at the cross that has been completed for you. And if you'll just only recognize it, you can receive it. Amen. Then the next verse, the next quote 
It says here in the fourth seal. And now the first, we could just give you scripture after scripture. See, that the last age is a prophetic message to the church. Calling them back to the original word. The prophetic message will take us back to the pure word of God. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. See, that's why this message, you know, it's, it, is, it keep on unfolding. It's progressive. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. See, meaning to say, you know, we are upgrading. Okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. See? We, we, we need to move forward. So then, because this is a prophetic message, then... The, mess, the prophet said, praise God. See, you now, okay, I'm reading this quotation, okay. In, I put it there in that way. Uh, you will uh, sometimes, you know, your accent is different from my accent, okay. <laughs> you have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So now, he, there you can read it. Hallelujah. See, you will recall that I mentioned at the beginning of this message that this book we are studying is the actual revelation of Jesus, of Jesus himself in the church. Amen. His work in the church in the future age. Amen. See? Praise God. Then I mentioned that it takes the Holy Spirit to give us revelation or we will fail to get it. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? That's in the message of the revelation of Jesus Christ. The message, the messenger is trying. Okay, I'm using the word messenger, okay? Because sometimes if, you, if I use the uh, prophet, hallelujah, <laughs> sometimes it's not uh, easy for the, to some listener because I know this is going online, okay? Hallelujah. See? It's been telling us the message, Christ Jesus is trying to reveal what he is doing. See? In his church and the pure future thing that he is going to do in his church. That's why I told you it's progressive. See? He did something before. He did something in his time. And he is going to do something in our time also. Praise God. What he did before, what he did then, he, praise God. There is something that he's going to do. Something. Praise God. Progressively. Praise God. In our time. Hallelujah. See? Hallelujah. But then it says, I mentioned that it takes the Holy Spirit to give us revelation or we will fail to get it. See? Bringing these two thoughts together, you will see that it won't take just ordinary study and thinking to make this, Bible, this book real. It is going to take the operation of the Holy Ghost. That means this book cannot be revealed to anyone but a special class of people. It will take one with prophetic Inside also. Amen. Praise God. See? The prophet said the, his message is a prophetic. Yeah. Praise God. Message. So we need also a prophetic insight. Praise God. It will require the ability to hear from God. See? It says it requires to hear the, to, the ability to hear from God. You know, that's why he said... This is only for the special class of people because only the sheep can hear, can follow his voice. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then it will require supernatural instruction. Not just a student comparing verse with verse, though that is good. But a mystery requires the teaching of the Spirit or it never becomes clear. How we need to hear from God and lay ourselves open and become yielded to the Spirit to hear and know. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. See? <clears throat> so, 
So it takes, okay, it will take one prophetic, uh, with, with prophetic insight. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. So then, Jesus need to change his ministry also. Okay? He says, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the coming of the Son of Man. They were, they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving, and marrying. And as it was in the days of Lot, so it shall be in the hours that the Son of Man will be rebuilt on earth. Okay? No, not Son of God no more. See, I've been emphasizing this everywhere I go, that we are not in the Son of God ministry anymore. Amen. See, we are in the Son of Man ministry. Amen. Praise God. Come back as the prophetic message for the last day when that eagle will be flying, not the lion, not the ox, in the sacrifice age. Amen. See? Then it says, hallelujah, next, praise God. I'm quoting two quotes from different books. In that way, you know, we have two witnesses. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. See, it says, I challenge this whole audience in the name of Jesus Christ, if you could, if your conscience, don't let, let it be seared with unbelief. Don't let it be frustrated. Can't you see the Son of Man? The Son of Man in the form of prophetic message, returning back again in the church in prophecy, revealing Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. It never been done through the age. Till this time, this is the proof of it. Okay? <clears throat> Hallelujah. It says, the son of man. Why son of man? Because this is now a mystery. Praise God. So he needs to come back here. Praise God. Hallelujah. To rebuild the mystery. Okay? It is not Brother Branham who is rebuilding it. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, at the opening of the seals, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is not Brother Branham who rebuilt the mystery. Amen. See, it is now the Son of Man ministry who rebuilt it. And Brother Branham heard it and he just said it. Praise God. See, where it is now? He said now in the form of the prophe prophetic message. Where it is the spoken word. See, the spoken word is a prophetic message. Hallelujah. See? Praise God. He came back now in what form? In the prophetic message. That's why, hallelujah, when you read the spoken word, Amen. I've been telling it to the people, to my people, you know, if you are not reading the spoken word, the message, you will not understand what I am saying. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. I've been telling it also to the minister. Let your people read the message. Don't you worry. They will not understand it. <laughs> because there is a supernatural element that it was, it was only given to the minister. See, the messenger said, because they are to feed the flocks. See, praise God. God make it that way. Hallelujah. See, so this message is a prophetic message. Okay, so we need a prophetic insight. Praise God. Then, praise God. So Christ changed his ministry from the Son of God, from the, from the Son of God ministry, now to the Son of Man ministry. In the Son of God ministry, praise God. He is doing the mediatorial work. Okay, praise God. God loves you. God bless you. God heals you. But now, his work is different. Praise God. He is now revealing the mystery. Amen. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. Where is God? Where is He? He is in the message. Amen. See? Praise God. That's why every time 
you read the exposition of the seven seals, what, what is he doing to you? He is revealing himself to you Amen. through the message. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. See? Hallelujah. It is him yeah. in his ministry as a son of man ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See now, next. <clears throat> okay? See? That's why when I was here, praise God, I speak about the latter rain and the former rain. Okay? Hallelujah. I've been telling you, you know, the message, imagine, he preached his message way back, uh, 60 plus. I told you, this is a prophetic message, but these things is happening in our age. See? Not in his age. See? In our age. Hallelujah. Imagine he said this. Have you not harvest time? Have you noticed that in the harvest time, though there is a real acceleration in the ripening, there is consequently a slowing of growth until there is no growth. Yes, See, when you plant the wheat, it will grow. will grow fast until the seed appear. Amen. Once the seed appear, praise God. Hallelujah. It will grow very fast, but then it will stop growing. See? Hallelujah. Praise God. Because it is not the time of growing anymore. It is the time of ripening. Praise God. The seed needs to be ripened. Hallelujah. See? That's why everything is quieting down. Hallelujah. See? Everything. That's why the message is saying, is, is that not exactly what we are seeing now? The false vine is losing multitudes to the communists and various other types of belief. Her numbers are not increasing as she would like us to think. Her hold on the people is not what it used to be. And in so many cases, going to church is just a show. That's, that is what's happening on the false vine. Praise God. We know the false vine, okay? Praise God, because we are on YouTube. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I do believe you know the false vine. Yeah. See, he is not increasing anymore. Praise God. He is decreasing. Yeah. See, his people now are, you know, they, because of the social media. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, they hear this. They hear, praise God. They, you can hear so many, so many comments, so many. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, so his people now are going to communism uh, on, on this kind of teaching. Praise God. And that is to the false vine. Yeah. And he said he cannot hold his people anymore because he holds his people before through tra tra tradition, superstition. Yeah. But today no more. <laughs> who, who, who will believe in superstition? Superstitious, you know. Praise God. Hallelujah. But then he said to the true vine, Praise God. See, and the true vine, what about her? Is she growing? Where are those vast numbers that keep coming to revivals and answer altar calls? Are not most of them merely emotional in their approach? See, praise God. Hallelujah. Or desirous of something physical rather than de desiring that, is we that which is truly is spiritual? Praise God. This is what's happening also in the side of the true vine. Okay? I will say to the message people. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, <clears throat> when, I, when I come into, okay, when I come in. When I come into the Lord, it, we have this, what we call the Pentecostal Bible in the Philippines. Way back 1984, up to 1988. See? Our church started with the signs and wonders. I experienced it. I know it. I was there. <laughs> Praise God. That's why during that time, everybody wants to be pastor. <laughs> because anybody that will lay hands on the sick, they will recover. Praise God. 
See? And there is one time, you know, in the, the Philippines, we, during that time, 84 to 88, we have so many crusades. And during that time, praise God, see, we have a crusade, you know, Billy Graham came to our country and all the churches, I told you, all the churches, Baptists, all these Protestants, this, all these Pentecostal oneness and threeness, hallelujah. They were all together. I was so happy. I was new in, I was new in the Lord. And then there is one crusade. Praise God. See, the people come early and the evangelist is not yet there. And they are singing, praising, worshiping God. The minister, the, their evangelist, you know, he's still traveling and something happened to the people. Blind see, lame walk. Praise God. See, to many, not just one. So, you know, all the wheelchair. Praise God. So when the evangelist came, he said, when he came, he said, I will just take the Lord. But remember this, you, you are blind before, now you can see if you leave, if you left this church, I will smote you blind, <laughs> smite you blind again. Hallelujah. And people were afraid because imagine, that signs and wonders. See? But then something happened also. After, after several years, we cannot see it anymore. And I don't know why. I cannot understand. See? That's why all this uh, denominational church, what, you know what they did? Because they want the power. See, they enjoy that power. Praise God. Imagine they have this radio program, TV program, and if they ask the people, okay, you lay hands on the television, you lay hands on your radio, literally, the goiter will come out. Praise God. Cancer will be healed. See? But then, it's quieting down. And nobody can understand why. See? Praise God. When they cannot see it, you know what, what they did? They want power. They went into politics. Yeah. Right. See? Amen. And they become congressman. They become senator. Now they have the natural political power. See? Why? Because, you know, the message said, see, praise God, hallelujah. Once, once the seed appear, we don't need, we don't need the rain anymore. The seed needs to be ripened. And for that seed to, to be ripened, it needs a very strong light. See, that's why, praise God, hallelujah. See, that's why God promised it. He said, now he has promised to send you heavenly light to ripen the word seed that will be sown for this day. The seed is in here. The seed is, is the Bible. Why? Jesus said so. The word is the seed that is sower sown. And now, before you can have any crop, no matter if you sow the seed, it's got to, be, to have light to ripen the seed. Or it rot and won't do no good. It will perish. See, like, it's, like we know it, in natural, if you plant the wheat, praise God, once the seed appear, then, praise God, the seed appear, hallelujah, you, 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 will, you will know that the seed is already there because that wheat will bow. Amen. Praise God. See, if the rain come, now remember, hallelujah, we know it, okay? Rain represents the outpouring of the Holy, Go Holy Ghost. See, the latter rain is the harvest rain. Praise God. That, see, the, me the message teaches us, okay? Praise God. The harvest rain will 
produce the signs and wonders. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. See? And they cannot understand what it is. So when the, when the prophet come into the scene, he, he is under the latter rain. Praise God. Signs and wonders, healing. And people cannot understand what's happening. That's why the former rain come. See? The latter and the former rain. The latter rain is first. Then the former rain come. See? To tell us that the latter rain is true. See? That's why the latter rain, the former rain is a teaching rain. Okay? So it shows us how this divine healing works. That's why we have this teaching of demonology. Right? Hallelujah. How the demon spirit works and how, you know, how the medicine works, how the doctors work, how the servant of God anointed with his spirit works. See? Hallelujah. See? That's why, praise God. See? The seals need to be open in order for us to understand what's happening. See? Or else we will, we, we, we will not understand what's happening today. Why there is no more. Hallelujah. I'm not saying, okay, I'm not, like, I'm not saying that I am against signs and wonders, okay? Like I told you, our church started with signs and wonders. I myself, I lay hands on people, they got healed. Praise God. See? But then the prophet said, now it's quieting down. See? We are now, we are now going into the different age. We are now going to ripen the seed to make it hard. See? And then he said, he promised, right? He promised to send you heavenly light to ripen the word seed. Praise God. Because if not, it will rot and won't do no good. It will perish. But if it's God, seed in the ground and right ground with the right kind of sunlight, Again, with the right kind of sunlight. See, the morning light will not ripen the seed. Okay? Praise God. And he promised that in the last days, in the evening time, the sun will come out. The sun will come out to ripen that seed. See? Hallelujah. The seal will be open so the sun can come out. Praise God to ripen the seed. Hallelujah. See? So, we, so that we can understand. Okay? Hallelujah. See? All this mystery. Right? The mystery, you know, Luther saw it. He said, the just shall live by faith. But he don't understand what justification means. Right? See, he don't know it. He can only see a partial, but not the whole picture. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, he said, it's by grace. The just shall live by faith. Then, at the opening of the seals, what did the prophet said? You know, this justification means like this. He said, I, Brother Branham, I preached on the night. Then one brother Praise God. Approached me, said, Brother Branham, praise God. See, maybe he preached on Tuesday night, then on Wednesday, Wednesday, the brother come to him, he said, Brother Branham, I saw you yesterday, Tuesday night. You are in the beer house. See, with a woman. Then Brother Branham said, No, brother. I'm in the church. I'm preaching. And here's the deacons. They are the witnesses. Then the man will say, okay, brother, I forgive you. <laughs> I said, how can you forgive me? I have not done it. See, in the first place, you are justified. See, that's why I've been telling you to the people. Why God, why God will save you if you have eternal life? See, 
If you have eternal life, you have no beginning, you have no end. Why is he going to save you? For what? He is not saving us. We are always saved. He's justifying us. That is the meaning of justification. See? He is justifying us. That's why I told to the people, you know, the word justify is very nice. It's very good if you say it in Filipino. <laughs> See? Because the word justify in Filipino is inaring ganap. When you said inari, you are own. Ganap completely, perfectly, really. You are really owned by Him. God is, God is justifying us, showing that we are His. We are completely, perfectly, we are really His own. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. Okay? Praise God. We are not yet starting, okay? <clears throat> Hallelujah. It's so nice, right? See? All this mystery. Praise God. Hallelujah. At the opening of the seals, all this mystery will become clear to us. See? Because now the perfect light will appear. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? If you cannot see the opening of, of the seals, that's where the problem always coming in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Like I told you, you know, when these things happen, suddenly all these signs and wonder, I'm not saying stop, but, you know, we are gleaning, okay? That's why the prophet said Ruth is gleaning. Praise God. See, once in a while, the angel will drop the uh, healing. Right? That's why we have this testimony. Not like used before. Praise God. You know, before, praise God. Brother Rock and myself, we will go in one place. He will hold the guitar. And then he will ask the, he will ask the believer, okay, bring, bring a dozen chair. Praise God. It's literally under the lamppost. Praise God. See? On the sidewalk. Then the believer will sit on the front and he will sing. After singing, you see, people will just come in. Praise God. And I will step in. I will see her. Then after that, Brother Rocky will pray. He's a man of faith. Praise God. He can pray for a, for a blind water buffalo. And, that, and the eyes of the water buffalo will appear. See? Yeah. Hallelujah. We saw all those things. Praise God. In the field, hallelujah. The believer, you know, they have fellowship there, no roof in the field, and then the rain comes. I'm telling you, it is like they have a roof. It's hard, it's hard to believe, but it's happened. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. But then something happened, like I'm saying. It stopped. Praise God. The rain stopped. Now the sun appeared, giving us more clear understanding. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? That's why today, after the service, you know, before up, after the service, people will line up for prayer. Almost all the people in the church will line up. That's why the prophet said, the true church, praise God, the true vine, where is those revival? Hallelujah. See? We are longing for it, okay? But I'm telling you, the revival of the Pentecostal is not our revival. We have, we have greater revival than they had. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? I don't want you to go out here and, and you will say, Brother Nestor, do not believe in signs and wonders anymore. I'm not saying that, okay? I said, I told you I believe it. You know, if you don't believe me, you read the book. 
There is a book, the 20th, 20th century miracle, and another book. You know, in that book, praise God, that is the time of uh, Gordon Lindsay. Before they met Brother Branham, 20 years before, they saw, God showed them already. Praise God. Hallelujah. And during that time, before, before the messenger come, there is a drought. There is a drought. Praise God. See, 1906, praise God. Hallelujah. The Pentecostal movement was so strong. But then, 1920s, it stopped. But the angel told them, if you will be, if you will be sincere. Hallelujah. You will see greater things. And the brother Branham appeared. Yeah. You know? And then, there is another book again. It's a best-selling. The Heavenly Man. Written by Brother Yin. Or Yun, you know? Praise God. Same thing. That is the revival that happened in China. Praise God. You know, in China, when they have this Pentecostal revival, he was longing to have a Bible. Then somebody will knock at his door. He said, the Lord told me to give you this Bible. You know how they read the Bible before? When after they, they, they finish reading, they put it back, in, put it in the plastic, and they buried it. Then, when they're going to read again, they will, you know, <laughs> see? Praise God. So many mysteries, so many, I mean, signs and wonders. But then he himself, yeah. he's saying, the church now, they don't know what's happening. Praise God. You can read that in the book. He said, the only thing that the church is doing is to christening, right? The baby. <laughs> See? Yeah. Mary, the ma Mary, uh, ceremony, and bury the dead. <laughs> That's all the church now is doing. I said, where? he's also asking, where is the sign and wonders? They cannot understand it. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? They experience it. I experience it. I don't know what happened until I read the message. Then the message said, we are not in the growing process anymore. We are now in the ripening. Praise God. In the ripening, we need the sunlight. We don't need the rain anymore. Once in a while, we have rain. Okay? Hallelujah. See? Praise God. You know, in the Philippines, when we were hit by the Pentecostal revival, that's way back 80, 84 and 88. If you go around Southeast Asia, I can vouch only for, the, for Asia. Okay? Praise God. You go to Indonesia, you go to China, you go to Japan. Praise God. All these churches, Christian churches, they experience the same thing in that age, in that, in that year. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Then after that, I received this message, 88. Hallelujah. See? And during that time, brother, I, we don't believe that the seventh seal is open. But we know, we believe that there is a messenger. Praise God. See? Until something happened in our country. You know, during 1995, Brother Ed Biscal and Brother Loni, Loni Jenkins, come to the Philippines. I'm tell you, bro, I tell you, in just one visitation, they turned our country upside down. See? When Brother Biscal, I was there, you know, I was, we were all listening. Brother Biscal, he said, Satan, see, he can do, he can do almost every, anything that God can do except to create. Then, he can see every time God speak, here's the, the creating word, will fly, you know, and then if it hit the ground, it will produce something. Praise God. Then, then the sun appear, Adam appear. 
And Adam was there playing in the water. And then when God speak, when the Father speak, Satan saw it. He tried to jump and grab the word. But it passed through his hand. And then Adam looked up and he grabbed the word. <laughs> and he put it in the water and become a fish. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I, tell, I told you. Wow, what is that? See? And they've been teaching us, okay? Telling us that the seventh seal is open. You know the meme on that, uh, on that day, on, the, uh, on, that, on that time? Scarecrow. Bull's eye. See? He said, the devil will raise up so many scarecrow in order for you not to accept it. Amen. Once you accept it, then you have the bull's eye on your back. <laughs> Everybody will hit you. That's why I cannot understand, you know. <laughs> See? My ministry is greatly influenced. When I went then, by the grace of God, I went to Bible Way. 1996. There, they have this special meeting, you know. We have this uh, Jeremiah Mgangang Way, you know. Brother Loni, Brother Biscal, and other ministers. But what I want to tell you, the three ministers influence my ministry and I cannot forget you know the subject that they preach <laughs> see Jeremiah preached about the intercessory mediatorship that's why when I first time I went back to Bible way I preached that in the order of Melchizedek brother Tim caught it he said yes Jeremiah preached that <laughs> I said I know, I know you will know it. <laughs> I know you know where I get it. I want you to know where I get it. See? Then Brother Loni preached. He said, you need to know where you're going to take your people. See? You need to know. Praise God. Not just keep on preaching. You need to know where, where your direction is. You need to know. Praise God. You need to tell them what to expect. Praise God. And it's, you know, it's in my heart. You need to know where you take your people. And then Brother Biscal said, after that, Brother Biscal said, an entrance shall be ministered. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> At the end, Brother Gideon Retief, he preached, go west. See? And I follow that. You know, so many, so many missionaries, you know, went to the Philippines, okay? Before I don't know how to use the spoken word. And then brother, when I got hold of Brother Gerd, you know him? The, 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 the building stone. See, when I look at it, it's a topical, topical uh, quotation. <laughs> I said, this is nice. See, everybody has a part, okay? Amen. Praise God. If only we, you know, like I've been telling it to the minister, if only we will not feel insecure. Praise God. Hallelujah. God used the fivefold ministry. Amen. See? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> That's why the message that we receive, this is a prophetic message meaning to say, it will keep on revealing, revealing what we need to know in our time. Amen. See? So these things happen, signs and wonders. Why? 
it's now quieting down. Then the message revealed because he said, all the seed has been sown. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Nothing will be produced. What seed has been sown, you will produce the fruits. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. See? But then, hallelujah, when this, uh, when this message, okay? Praise God. See? When you receive the message, hallelujah, okay? It needs to be ripened. That's why the people, I told you, it connects all the loose ends. The mystery of justification, the mystery of sanctification, the mystery of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? It will, it will be rebuilt to us. It will be rebuilt to us. See? Then, if you have, remember this, if the seed that we receive is the present truth or the message of the hour, that's why I've been telling it to the minister. You don't need to tell the people to live a holy life. If for 20 years, for more than, I think, 50 years now, this BCF, if the pastor keep on telling you to live a holy life, there is something, there is something wrong with you. Or there is something wrong with the minister. See? Just teach them the opening of the word. See? Because once the seed appear, praise God. You know the plan, right? Hallelujah. See? We have the leaves, we have the stalk, then we have the shock, then we have the seed. Right? Once the seed appear, then it, it, was, it, it was exposed to the sunlight. What will the seed do? He will suck the life of the leaves. He will suck the lives of the... Oh, oh, of, of, of the stock, he will suck the life of the shark. That's why all of that plant will become brown. Why? It's dead. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. If we can receive the sunlight, then we will be able to receive the message of justification. We will be able to receive the message of sanctification. It is not become our problem because sanctification now is in, in us. Amen. See? Until, until even the life that is in the root, that is the last thing, praise God, that that seed will do, it will suck the life that is in the root. Now the seed become life. Amen. See? Right. Even if you plant that plant with the root, it will not grow anymore. It has no life. But look at that small seed. If you plant it, you can see the life. Because all the life will go into the seed. The life of the seed is the life of the plant. Hallelujah. See? So that is our principle. Okay? So that's why the message said, okay, next it says here, I'm laying down the foundation, okay? So in that way, you will understand what we are trying to, what we are trying to say. See, now this messenger of Malachi 4 and Revelation 10, 7 is going to do two things. One, according to Malachi, Malachi 4, he will turn the hearts of the children to the father. See, that is the ministry of the Malachi 4 to turn us back where to the pure word of the Bible. Praise God. Number two, he will reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders of Revelation 10, which are the revelation contained in the seven seals. So let make it say, let make it simple. The opening of the seals, okay? Yeah. Praise God. That is the thunders. Say the revelation of the opening of the seal, the revelation of the seven seals. Praise God. It will be this divinely revealed. Praise God. Divinely revealed mystery truths that literally turned the hearts of the children to Pentecostal father. See? Hallelujah! What is the seven thunders? That is the prophetic message. The seven seal is the prophetic message being revealed by whom? By the Son of Man. 
Praise God. See? Telling it, teaching it to the church. Hallelujah. See, once we accepted it, then we can go back where? To the original word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, brother, I memorized the Bible. See, the prophet said, though it's good, it won't work. Amen. See? Hallelujah. Even if you memorize the Bible, that holy life will not come out in your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. See? Praise God. Now, okay, we're going to start. So you have the background, you have the idea, okay? Praise God. <clears throat> now, see, we know that God is the God of the universe, okay? I'll just, quote, I'll just read the quote, okay? He was the God of earth, Adam, you know? Praise God. He was the God of earth. God is the God in, of the universe everywhere. Praise God. So Adam is a minor God, and God, praise God, hallelujah, God, minor God under God our Father, because He was the Son of God. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Say now. <clears throat> what the Father is, okay? If the Father is uh, something like a vast water of ocean sea, then Adam is the part of that ocean. Maybe he's just a teaspoonful of ocean. Praise God. So what Adam is, same thing with the Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Now, God, you know, God has a seed. Okay? When God created Adam, he is in the spirit form. Right? Praise God. And Adam is the part of the mind of God. And the mind of God is the seed. Praise God. Now, God needs to plant the seed. Hallelujah. That's why God needs an earth. See? That's why he needs Adam. The name Adam means red earth. Praise God. Then God put that seed in that earth. And he called it Adam. Praise God. Hallelujah. All the mystery, all the plan, all the program of God is in Adam. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why on this earth, God never named names. He only named one name, Adam. And this whole earth is a mystery. Because there are so many creatures on the earth. There are the fish, there are the lion, there are the birds, the trees, the flowers. But they have no names. See? And Michael and Gabriel and Wormwood, they cannot understand it. They said, what is, here's the animal, what is this animal with the big fur on his, on his neck? Neck, and he can, he can growl. Whoa. <laughs> See? Michael said, what is that? Gabriel said, what is that animal? And Adam said, he is a lion. <laughs> lion. Yeah. Then they saw another, oh, lion. They saw another, oh, lion. Lion, lion. Amen. See? And then, praise God, there's a big bird flying. Ah! And Gabriel said, what is that? And one would said, Adam said, eagle, 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 eagle. He's naming all the animals. He's naming all the fish. What is that? A rainbow trout. Then Gabriel and Michael look at the father. The father said, Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. See? Praise God. 
He names everything. That's why, if you will notice, the Bible always starts with a name. See, when you go into the New Testament, this is the generation of Jesus Christ. It will always praise God. See, hallelujah. The mystery, the first mystery, you know, praise God. When you come into the message, the first mystery is the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It's always the name because it happened in the Garden of Eden. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, so Adam, praise God, see, he holds the seed. He holds the mystery of the Father. Praise God. And the Father cannot express it. He needs something to express it. So Adam becomes the extension of, of the Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, he only expressed the voice of God. See, the voice of Adam, the voice of God, and the voice of Adam are the same. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's revealing. He's the voice revealing. A voice revealing the voice. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? The Father cannot express it until Adam appear. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Because, praise God. Hallelujah. See? Ah, the Father got the seed. Okay? So he need a branch to produce that fruits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Adam's boy becomes the voice of God, of the Father. He is the final voice. <laughs> praise God. See? <clears throat> now, Adam became the vessel of the seed, okay? Praise God. See, he knew the plan of God. But then the fall came. We know what happened in the Garden of Eden. Right? Praise God. See, the woman was deceived. See? So God needs to throw them out of the garden. When God throw them out of the garden, they lost, they lost the way of the tree of life. See? The, the Bible is very clear. If God will not push them out of the garden, they will live eternally. Right? Praise God. And God don't want them, don't want them to live in eternity in, this, in the fallen state. See, because if we live eternally in the fallen state, then we will be in big trouble. Right, sister? You don't want it, right? Imagine when you are in the fallen state and your husband, praise God, in the fallen state, Lazy, doing nothing. Every time they come home, they will hit you, kick you. <laughs> you don't like it, right, sister? Amen. So we, you will going to pray, right? You're going to pray that you die or he die. <laughs> See? <laughs> because nobody die. <laughs> Praise God. See? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. See, that's why after the fall, Adam was separated from the tree of life. He was separated from the way of the tree of life. See, there is no problem with Adam. Adam knew what's happening because the mystery, the seed is in him. He knows what the Father wants to do. Hallelujah. That's why he's just expressing what Christ is expressing today. Praise God. See, when they went out, praise God, of the Garden of Eden now, the Bible said, see, then man live according to the imagination of their heart. See, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. That is before the flood. Then after the flood, the same thing. And the Lord smelled as with Sabor, and the Lord said into his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. So it's so normal, okay, that our heart 
that we were born sinner, okay? Praise God. Because we don't know the way of God anymore. Praise God. Hallelujah. Be then the seed was lost. The seed was lost, was God. See? So every man, they do what they want to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Until, until finally, God found Moses, right? He found Israel. What did he do? See, it says here in Hosea chapter 9, verse 10, the lowest, uh, you know, it says here, I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as they first ripe in the fig tree at her first time. You know, praise God. God saw Israel in the wilderness, meaning, praise God. He is just, a, uh, you know, praise God. He's in, he's, she's wandering. But then God found her like a fig tree in his first, first ripe, meaning to say uh, first fruits. He saw Israel bearing the first fruit of the fig tree. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Then God gave them the law. Okay? The law, praise God, is just a seed. Praise God. But the seed will produce the fruits. That's why the Bible said, for the law having a shadow of good things to come. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. God believing, praise God, these fruits, the law will produce a good, a beautiful things to come. What is the beautiful things to come? A holy nation. Praise God. A peculiar people. A nation of priesthood. Hallelujah. See? But then, Israel, praise God. That's why up to now, you know, Israel is, is the apple in the eyes of God. We cannot do anything about it. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? So when God saw Israel, hallelujah, he planted the seed in Israel. That's why he... He's not doing it anywhere. He's just doing it in Israel. Because he planted the seed there. He's, he did not plant it anywhere. Only in Israel. Okay? Praise God. Until Jesus come. When Jesus come on the scene, he said, Hallelujah. He is the seed. Right? Praise God. The word of God made flesh. But then in John chapter 15, verse 1, he says, He declared that he is the true vine. He said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein we is my fa Father glorified, glor glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Okay? Now, praise God. Now, Jesus now is trying to introduce himself from sin. Now he said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Praise God. Amen. See? So when God the Father, praise God, and here's Adam, Adam is like the branch of the vine. The voice of God went out to the voice, to the mouth of Adam. So the voice of Adam is the voice of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, now, this, now here comes Jesus and said, I am the vine and you are the branches. Praise God. See, hallelujah. He's trying to tell us something. Okay. Now, it says here, in the restoration of the bride tree, but what? He was God's perfect prophet. He was God's perfect prophet tree. The example tree, the bridegroom tree. Amen. Glory. I'm going to say something directly. If he is the bride, bridegroom tree, do you believe it? From the Garden of Eden, then the bridegroom tree without the female don't bear fruit. So he's got to have a bright tree. He's got to be born of the same material. The Word made flesh. 
in the tree. Hope you get it. It's the same life in this female tree, the bridegroom, as it is in the bride. That's the works that I do shall you also. Is that right? He was the bridegroom, remember. See? Now, the prophet is... The messenger is trying to tell us in the restoration of the bride tree. You know, as a minister, when we study the bridegroom tree, we'll always, at the restoration of the bride tree, we'll always speak about the four insects, you know, the four destroyer and the four uh, restoration stage, stage, four stage of restoration. But the prophet is trying to tell us about this bridegroom tree. He said, this is a perfect, perfect prophet tree. Perfect example tree. The bridegroom tree. And then he said, If he is the bridegroom tree, do you believe it from the Garden of Eden? Yes, so he's been saying that this bridegroom tree is the tree of life. Amen. But he cannot produce anything unless there is a bride, uh, the bride tree. Yes, Praise God. And the, bri and the bride tree, he said, needs to be same like the bridegroom tree. Amen. Praise God. In that way, he said, The work that I do shall you also. Praise God. If that bride tree, if he abide in the bridegroom tree, he can do what he did. Amen. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Then he said, you say, that ain't scriptural. Oh, it is. See? He can do what I did. Then somebody say, it's not scriptural. I caught that now, see? We're facing that healing meeting in a minute. I caught that. He was. Now he proved it. You want, you, want, you want proof of it? He said, I am the vine. Now he's connecting it to that scripture. I am the vine. You are the branches. Amen. See? The bridegroom is the vine. The bride tree is the branch. Amen. Praise God. St. John saying it i am the vine you are the branches you bear the fruit see and the male tree and the female tree produces the pollen one to one another brings the fruit and the branch and the vine does the same thing see that's exactly right praise god hallelujah <laughs> he said now this first tree was a prophet tree a perfect tree the God of the prophets, he was a major tree. He was God's perfect prophet tree. Why? He was the word. Okay? Praise God. He keep on, you know, He's been saying, praise God, he was God's perfect prophet tree. Okay? So, meaning to say, the bright tree will also be a perfect bright tree. See? Then he said, what the perfect prophet tree, the bright tree will do it also. The works that I do, you shall do also. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then they said, it's not scriptural. Yes, it is. Because I am the vine, Jesus said, the perfect prophet tree is the bride, is the vine. Now, the bride is the branches. Hallelujah. See? Praise God. The branch will produce the fruits. Hallelujah. He, we are God's fruit bearers. And I believe in, his, in St. John 17, chapter, Jesus said, Ye are the branches, and he was the vine. The vine puts forth the fruit, but the branches has to bear the fruits. Hallelujah, not the vine. But the fruits is in the vine. <coughs> Hallelujah. If the branch is getting its life out of the vine, well, it's the same kind of life that's in the vine. See, now, praise God, okay? If this is the vine, okay? The branch has no life. All the life is in the vine. Praise God. 
The fruit is in the vine. But the fruits will not appear. See? You know, sometimes we don't understand why God is using the metaphor of tree and fruit and seed. Praise God. And I, I don't understand it also until, praise God, you know, there is one brother, praise God, who preached that. He said, you know that the Hebrew word came from a pictograph. I said, what is that pictograph? Praise God. He said, all the Hebrew word came from a pictograph. Okay? Like, I'm half Chinese, you know. I can, li- I can read Chinese character. A few, okay? <laughs> and we were, we were taught in the school, you know, the Chinese character come from a pictograph. Praise God. See, and here it is. Okay? Praise God. The word prophecy came from, a, came from two pictograph. The picture of a seed and a picture of a tent or a house. Praise God. See? It says, <clears throat> praise God. Now, according to the, you know, to the old Hebrew language, prophecy says, a fruit produced from the inside of a man. See, a prophecy, it is a fruit produced where inside the vine. Okay? Not in the branch. It was produced there, but it need to come out. Praise God. It will coming out where? In the branch. Praise God. So now, if this is the perfect bridegroom tree, the bride tree will be the branch. Okay? Then, if this is a perfect prophet, prophet tree, now the branch will also be a prophet. Okay? Praise God. But then, the seed, the fruit is in the vine. See? It will not come out until the branch appear. So, when the branch appear, praise God, the fruit will push out, will coming out. Praise God. That's why the meaning of the prophet, you know, they call it, the young people, noobie, noobs. <laughs> I was surprised. See? You noobs. <laughs> it's a good word. Noobs means prophet. <laughs> I was surprised, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he's the one who will bring forth the inner fruits. He will produce, he will show the fruits. And then in the fruits, there are seed to sow, to prophesy. (laughs) Okay? Hallelujah. See? That's why in our age, praise God. See? We have this perfect prophet tree. Now we have a prophet who brings out the fruit. See? He just bring out the fruit from the vine. Yep. From, a, from the Son of Man. Amen. See, the Son of Man is telling us, is showing us the fruit, and we cannot understand it until the branch appear. Right. When the branch appear, now come the fruits. And then he saw it. Yep. Right. Amen. And we call it a spoken word yep. booklet. Amen. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. See? That's why the message, okay, the Bible said, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, but in the days of the voice of a prophet. See? When he shall begin to sound the mystery, the mystery, the prophet, always the prophet will reveal the mystery. Praise God. Of God should be finished as he had declared to his servant the prophet. Then a voice which I heard from heaven speak unto me again and said, Go and take the bo- little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the, water, upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Then he said, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had, I had eaten, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, 
thou must prophesy again before many people, nations, tongues, and kings. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why at the opening of the seals, see, we have a messenger. We have a prophet revealing us the fruits. Praise God. And we are commanded to eat that book, that open book. That's why if you cannot see the opening of the seals, that's where the problem is. Right. Right. Hallelujah. See? Some people cannot see it. I don't, you know, like I say, that's not my problem, okay? They cannot see it. But here, we believe it, that the seventh seal is open. Right? That the seventh seal is open. If you cannot believe that the seventh seal is open, praise God, meaning to say, you cannot prophesy. See? Because the opening of the seventh seal is the revealing of the fruits, is the revealing of the prophecy, is the revealing of the mystery. Praise God. See? You cannot prophesy. Okay? Unless it is a mystery. Hallelujah. See? And you can only prophesy unless you are a prophet. And if our first fruits, like I say, is a prophet, the whole crop is also a prophet. See? Hallelujah. See? That's why we can prophesy. Do you understand it? Pride. We are now, we are not commanded to preach. You know, I've been, de- I've been doing that for a long time. But today, brother, you cannot go out and say, you know, my friend, do you know that the love, God loves you? Don't you worry. You're, then your friend will tell you, oh, yeah, my, my God also loves me. <laughs> My God heals me. Yes, my God also heals me. See? Today is different. The way we share the gospel, the message is different. You know, we have a, we have a church in a five-star hotel, a Sangrila Hotel. Brother Chad been there. You know how, it's, how it was started? The brother, you know, they have this corporate meeting. Then at during the break time, they went to the restroom. <laughs> the brother said, there are two brothers, they are being trained by denominational church to become a pastor. And this brother of us, you know, he is a black slidden brother. Okay? When they went, when they, they, when they went to the restroom, he said, do you know that Cain is not the son of Adam? <laughs> <laughs> so this was this, this brother said what? Cain is not the son of Adam then, then, then when they went back to the seminar he said to the other brother hey, he said that Cain is not the son of Adam can you believe it? <laughs> see? then they approached him showed, showed them it's different now who doesn't know that God loves them? But do you know, praise God, what happened? That's why I've been telling it to the, you know, every time I go out, I come, I come to the churches, I've been telling them, I do not come here to teach you how to become a good person. Because no good person will go to heaven. Right? We do not preach to people become a good people. We, we, we preach because we want people to be saved. I was not commissioned to reform you. See? Because they don't understand what happened, why they need salvation. See, they don't know what happened in the Garden of Eden. It was, it, 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 was it an apple? No, it is not an apple. See? Praise God. They don't know it. Because it's a mystery. They don't even know what sin is. 
Like I told you before, when I went into the police station, see, I was there to teach them. I told them, to teach you what? Teach you how to become a good person? You are the one who arresting those bad people. How can I teach you good? <laughs> See? But then I told them, drinking is not sin. <laughs> Adultery is not sin. Oh, they were so happy. They are looking. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing is not sin. Corrupt. To be corrupt is not sin. See? It's a mystery to them. I told them that is the fruits of the sin. They don't know what sin is. See? That's a problem today. Praise God. That's why when we go out, when we share, we share it differently. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Amen. There is one brother in our church. He's been, he's been in the Baptist church for a, for a long time, okay? Sorry. <laughs> he, thought he, he thought that uh, he's already in good hands. See? But then, when I opened the book of Hebrew, I said, Paul said, there, there is a, th- uh, a basic teaching. Faith, salvation, laying of hands, baptism of the Holy Ghost, holy life. But then Paul said, let's stop it. Let's go on to perfection. So he was surprised. See? Hallelujah. I always, when I go out, you know, I always ask the people, when I have, when I have a chance, I will only ask them, do you believe, mostly those who read the scripture, do you, do you believe that we came from Adam and Eve? They will say, yes. See? So if I, if Eve if came from Adam, if the type blood of Adam is A, so Eve blood must be A. So where is the other types of blood come from? It's a mystery. You are prophesying. You are revealing something to them. It is a hidden truth. They cannot understand it. Praise God. That's why today is different. I've been telling it to the people. You need to prophesy. Hallelujah. See, if you know what you are, when you prophesy, when you're revealing the mystery, when, you, when you're sharing them the church ages, when you're revealing them the seven seals, when you're revealing them the serpent seed, what are you doing? You are prophesying. Amen. See? Right. Praise God. Yeah. That's why they cannot understand. When I, when, when I was in Indonesia, praise God. Hallelujah. I shared to them about the tabernacle of God. Say, my interpreter is an interpreter of the uh, oh, oh, of the government in the United Nations. See? He, he got all his notes about the tabernacle of God. Uh, I, ha- I have this, this. Then when he heard, when he listened to me, pre- he was so excited, he's preaching his own message. <laughs> that's, why the, that's why the pastor stopped him. <laughs> See? I said, why did you do that? The pastor said, your interpreter, he was so excited. Praise God. He's preaching his own message. (laughs) He cannot believe what he heard. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. He cannot understand it. There are three altars. There are three lights. There are three foods. And he cannot understand it until he heard it. And he was surprised. Different. I've been telling it to the people. We share this gospel. You know, we share the gospel, the Bible, the message differently. You are prophesying. Praise God. Prophesy. Praise God. Don't tell your, don't tell your, uh, your friend, God loves you. They know it already. That's why they are being blessed. (laughs) See? Praise God. See? Tell them. Do you know that, uh, that Cain is not the son of Adam? 
See? Yeah. Praise God. What is the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Yes. They don't know it. Amen. It's a mystery. Yes. Right? Yeah. right? Praise God. You are prophesying. Amen. See? That's why once the bride knew what she is, praise God, an invincible army, yeah. he knows where he's standing. Okay? Praise God. Now, we are halfway. Okay? <clears throat> so the bride is not commissioned to preach. The bride is commissioned to prophesy. See? Praise God. Because we are, we are to reveal the mystery that was hidden. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, in Revelation chapter 5, verse 10, he said, And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay? He made us kings and priests. I will just deal with the priest. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Now, <clears throat> in all, if we have a priest, we need a temple. Okay? Hallelujah. See? Because if we don't have the temple, where will the priest going to, uh, to minister? Praise God. But then Jesus said, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up again. Okay? Put it, put it in your mind. Okay? That was the true church. Praise God. Once they understand who they are, the true church will appear. Okay? Praise God. We need to be part of that true church. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. And Jesus said unto them, Destroy the temple. In three days I will raise it up again. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in, in building. And will thou reel it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, he's going to build his temple. Okay? What? Now you not, know you not that the, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. God is building. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Remember this. God is building a temple. See? Praise God. So that the priest can appear, so that he can keep his mercy seat. The mercy seat will always be in the temple. It will not go out of the temple. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, then the father promised he will be back in his mystical body. Okay? Jesus said, destroy that temple and in three days I will build it. Then he's talking about his body. So his body is a temple. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then he said, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then now, uh, the, the messenger is talking about there is a mystical body. Okay? Hallelujah. He says this here, if he's the one that's going, going to be in you, it was him that come in his spirit form. Go up and wait, for I'm going to send a promise. The Father had promised you, I'm going to send it upon you. That's the Holy Ghost. Then I'll be with you, even in you, all the way to the end of the world. And I will be in you doing the same things that I did while I was in this body. See? I will be back in my mystical body. Praise God. Doing the same thing. So, now, praise God, we know that the seven church ages, okay, hallelujah. See, the seven church ages, we call it the gentle dispensation, you know, it has the light, the moonlight also, okay. The seven church ages, we'll call it the body of Christ, right? Praise God. That is the body. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. That even the gates of hell cannot prevail. See? Hallelujah. Now, now, for nearly 2,000 years, God had been again making him a masterpiece. See? For 2,000 years, God is trying to build 
the third masterpiece. Praise God. See, and what is the, ma- the third masterpiece says here? For nearly 2,000 years, make, praise God, years making another masterpiece, a bride for Christ, another masterpiece. See, we know that the first masterpiece is Adam. The second masterpiece is Jesus Christ. The third masterpiece, it says here, is the bride. Praise God. He is now building it. He is the one that building that masterpiece. Praise God. That's why he said, upon this rock, I will build my church. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> See? Now, he said, I'm going to build a temple. I'm going to build my church. I'm going to build my house. Right? Praise God. But then Jesus said, How be it the most high dwelleth not in the temples made with hands, as, I, as said the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is, is my footstool. What house will you build me, said the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? See? Imagine, God wants to build a temple. Hallelujah. How big it is? He said, the earth is my throne. The, earth is, the, the heaven is my throne. The earth is my footstool. So it's a very big temple. Right? Praise God. Hallelujah. And now we saw that the seven church ages, that is the body. Okay? Praise the Lord. Then, praise God. He said, the temple that is going to make, it must be from heaven to earth. Praise God. See? That's why, hallelujah, in the book of Revelation, the seven church ages, you know, he said, it, it was finished with the, with the door closed. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcome it will I grant to sit with me in my throne. See, so now he's talking about a throne. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the seven church ages, the Laodicean age, was finished with a closed door. Okay? But then in, in Revelation chapter 4, after this I look and behold, a door was opened in heaven. The, the door on earth is already closed, but there is a door in heaven that was opened. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. So these seven church ages, it was finished with a closed door. Now you need to overcome that closed door. How can you overcome it? He said, praise God. Hallelujah. If anyone hear my voice, again, it's about hearing the voice of God. Those who, those who have the prophetic revelation, they can hear the voice of God. They have the ability to listen, to hear, to follow the voice of God. See? That's why the prophet said that where we are, we are now sitting where? In the heavenly places. What are, what are we doing there? We are eating. Sup with me. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? So the bride where we are now, we are in the heavenly places sitting. What we are doing there? We are we are eating with him. Hallelujah. This, all this mystery. Praise the Lord. See? That's why at the opening of the seals, hallelujah. I've been telling it. At the opening of the seals, all the mystery of God, see, it's been, it's been showing, it's been revealed to us. The mystery of the justification message, right? Hallelujah. See? Praise God. Next, it says here, <clears throat> Notice, it is not revealed until this book is not revealed until the church ages and denominational ages was run out. And there's time no more. See, it's only revealed after church ages, denominational age, ages has run out. That's the reason the thing is in such a scruple tonight. See, that's why we have so many, Okay. We have so many. That's the reason we have so many doctrines. Praise God. Because the seal is not yet open. Praise God. See? What, what will the seal do? It says here, 
But those mysteries are promised, okay? But those mysteries are promised to be revealed in the end time. It's little loose ends that these great warriors has come on the scene. Irenaeus, Martin, St. Martin, Polycarp, and different ones, Luther, Weston, all these, see, as how they have come and just live long enough to kind of bring a light, a light and shine it, but they left many things in the darkness. See, meaning to say we don't have enough, praise God, light, we don't have enough revelation to understand it until this age. At the opening of the seals, praise God, Hallelujah. See? That's why, that's why the prophet said, see, we are justified. We are always saved. He is not saving us. That's why in the, in the midst of the future homes, we are always saved. See, how can he save us? He said, he never, he, he do not save us. He, we are always saved. He is redeeming us. See? Not saving us. Praise God. Hallelujah. All these loose ends, you know. Praise God. It is like, you know, I have three sons, okay. Let's say one of my sons become naughty. And he went out of the house. And goes somewhere else. I've been waiting for him. Okay. Then one day, I need to find my son. Right. I need to go out and look for my son. When I go out and look for my son, he said, where is my son? He was in jail. They put him in jail. So I went to the jailer. I asked the officer, what happened? Oh, your son is a naughty boy. See? So I put him in jail. What do I need to take him out? You need to redeem him. See? What is the price? The blood. See? So I pay it with the blood. When my son come out, he said, you know, Dad, when I was in in the jail, there's so many good people there. They help me. They give me water to drink. They give me food. When I was sick, they took good care of me. What do you want me to do, my son? Can you save them? (laughs) See? So I will go to the jailer. I want to pay the price for them. When they come out, they will say, this is the mystery. They don't know anything about the blood. They have no idea about the blood. Said, why did you save us? We have eternal life. We have the beginning. We don't, we don't have the beginning and we don't have the end. That's why how, he, how, why is he going to save us when we have no beginning and we have no end? You are always saved. He is just redeeming us because we are his own. See? But these people, they were not his. Praise God. But they were rewarded with eternal life. They have the beginning, but they don't have the end. See? Praise God. So that's the difference between redeeming and save. Hallelujah. So when these people come out, why did you do that to us, sir? When you did to my son. See? There's no blood there. Is there a blood? No. They cannot understand it. Because something is happening now, brother. Remember this. Something, you need to know what you are. See? 
There is no blood there. But they were got saved. See? So now God is trying to build something. He is trying to build what? A temple. Okay? Praise God. See? Now, he said, Upon this rock I will build my church. Okay? Hallelujah. We are in different age. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. We are in the age where the sun shine bright. The S-O-N light. Sun shine bright. See? Now, hallelujah. This, those people will get saved because of you. Do you understand it? Because of you. Praise God. See, they never heard the gospel. But they were got saved. Hallelujah. See? Now, praise God. Okay, now. Here. The seven church ages, we understand that is the body of Christ. Okay? Let's put the body. Now. That's the body, but without the head. That's why the scripture is very clear. Them without us is not complete. It needs to be completed. We need the head. So when the head come, there it is. See, now it is complete. We have the sunlight. When once the sunlight appear, we don't need the moonlight anymore. Praise God. See, we call it the bright age. We are not in the seven church ages anymore. That's why at the opening of the seal, it will, it will once the seal is open, meaning to say, we, the denomination in our church is finished, the church age is finished. So if that is finished where we are, we are now in the bright age. We are no longer in the body age. We are now in the head age. See? Praise God. That's why when the prophet said we have the mouth, we have the ear, we have the eyes. Right? Praise God. So when the, pro- when, when the prophet appeared, hallelujah, and, uh, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, then he show us, he show, then we heard. Praise God. But at the opening of the seal, something happened, my brother and sister. See, he's revealing the mind of God. See, he is not only revealing the mind of God, he is revealing the back part of the mind of God. Hallelujah. Imagine. Now we understand the meaning of justification. He is not saving us. He is justifying us. Praise God. He is redeeming us. Hallelujah. But through us, because we are now the body, okay? Greater work. Once the bride understands what she is, Greater work she will do. Praise God. Hallelujah. What is this? Now, now this whole complete. That is now the mystical body. Now that is the true church. Praise God. That's why the prophet said. Okay. Hallelujah. See. The real church is the mystical body of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Now, every, every person that comes to Christ, comes out of the world, comes into Christ, comes into his mystical body. Amen. Hallelujah. We are not joining church anymore. We are joining to that mystical body. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, once you are into, in, in that mystical body, you will be able to access the back part of the mind of God. Amen. Hallelujah. See? Praise God. <clears throat> who set it up? That is, this mystical body. Who started this? Jesus Christ. Praise God. He is the head of the mystical body. He is the king over it. Working his own will in his dominion. Praise the Lord. He is the one who started it. He said, upon this church, I will build my... Praise God. Upon this rock, I will build my church. Praise God. And the gates of hell cannot prevail. See? The church is also a gate. Praise God. 
See, the church is also a gate. If this other gate, he said, the gates of hell cannot prevail. This gate, praise God, will take you where? Praise God, in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I've been telling it to the people. It's so important for you to have a home church. If you don't have a home church, praise God, I don't know where you are. Praise God. See, sometimes people don't understand what the home church, hallelujah, they don't understand what the pastor is. See, hallelujah. We are in the age of the Feast of the Atonement. You know, during the Feast of the Atonement, the priest, praise God, all the sins of the all the sins of Israel, you know, only in one one time, one day. That is in the in the day of the feast of the atonement. The priest needs to go inside the holy of holies. That's why during the feast of the atonement, feast of the trumpet, people of Israel will start coming to the temple. That is the only time they will come back to the temple. Praise God, because. Hallelujah, they want to witness something that is very important in their life. During that piece of the atonement, praise God, the priest will carry all, all, you know, praise God. Every time in, in, in the Old Testament, if you commit the sin, okay, the January, I steal the money. Okay, February, I commit adultery. March, I commit this. Once you commit something in one year, twice, they will, you will be stoned to death. See, you only need to do it once. Then, praise God, literally, the priest of the temple compile it. Okay? Hallelujah. They have all the lists. But then in the Feast of the Atonement, praise God, the priest need to go to the temple first. Need to go to the Holy of Holies. See? Praise God. He will go in there with the blood. Okay? But if he will not walk the walk, even though there is a blood, he will die. See? If he die, the sin of the people will not be Erase. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. This is the same thing we have today. Yeah. The church, the pastor, as I've been telling you to the people, the pastor will be accountable to your soul, not you. Praise God. You know, you know the story of the Good Samaritan? See? There is a man, he came from where? He came from Jerusalem, went, back, went to Jericho. He was beaten by the Levites. He was beaten by the tax collector. You know? And the prophet said, half dead, that is physically alive, spiritually dead. Praise God. Yeah. Now here's the good Samaritan representing Jesus. Heal him first. Healed him. He found him, not he found him. Yeah. It's always that way. See? He found you. He found me. Amen. Right? Hallelujah. He carry us. He take us to the inn. What is the inn? He said, that is the church. Amen. See, there are many churches here. How come that God leads you here? Amen. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. See? After that, there is an innkeeper that represents the pastor. He said, take good care of him. Hallelujah. When I come back, if there is something lacking, I will pay you. I will reward you. See? So you need to have your home church. You need to have your pastor. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, that's how important it is. There's a brother Nestor, you mean to say, praise God. Look at that. Look at Look at that uh, on, on the Old Testament, the types. See, we were condemned, right? Did we did it? Do we did it? No. Adam did it, not us. And God is not unjust. 
He also saved us. Do we need it also? No. He just saved us. By one man, we die. By one man, we live. See? Hallelujah. So same thing now. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? Why? Because, because the prophet said, now, hallelujah, who set it up? Now you're the temple of God. See? The church is the blood of Christ by the Spirit. You are the blood of Christ. See? Praise God. We are in this body. We represent. We are the branch. He is the vine. Okay? Praise God. The mystery of the mercy seat. Hallelujah. They are, they are looking for the mercy seat. Look, where is the mercy seat now? It says here, the mercy seat is here. Okay? Praise God. See? Now, we are living in another age. Glory, oh. I love this age. Don't you? Now, God has a mercy seat today to be guarded. You believe that? Where is the mercy seat found? In the heart of man. Where did it come in the heart of man? At the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost, which is God, come into the human heart. Amen. See? Praise God. When they crucify the Lord, He is the mercy seat of God. That's why the veil in the temple was rent in two. Praise God. And they cannot, they cannot understand it. So today is the same thing. Where is the mercy seat of God? In the branch. Yeah. See? You are the blood of Christ. Praise God. In the spirit. Hallelujah. That the church is the blood of Christ. The mystical body. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why you can be... You can be a mediator for your family. Hallelujah. The church, your pastor. That's why you need to look for a good church. You need to look for a a good pastor. See? Because if God will not accept the minister, if God did not accept that high priest, everybody will be lost. See? But once God accepted that priest, when he go out, the people will rejoice because now they have hope. See, that their sin will be forgiven. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, so same thing in our time. Praise God. That's why we are living in different age. Praise God. See, this is the time where the sun shines bright, telling us you are justified. You have not done it in the first place. Blessed is the man that God did not impute sin. How can you condemn you? (laughs) How you condemn yourself if you have done nothing wrong? If you have no sin, how can you condemn? Who can condemn you? Praise God. Oh, he he, he, he did a lot of mistakes. He did a lot of bad things. Do you know? Now, there's another mystery of sanctification, right? Praise God. It says here, you know, our, our sin is like it's like a, a, an ink, a dark ink. Okay? Praise God. The redeeming blood of God is like a, a, a Clorox. See? When you commit sin, praise God. Now, it is like a dark ink that if you confess it, okay? If you confess it, then it is like a dark ink falling into the drum full of Clorox. Then the prophet said, what will happen to your sin? Your sin, God will count it as your righteousness. <laughs> Imagine. Even your sin, God will count it as your righteousness. Imagine. Hallelujah. See, how can you condemn? Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why I've been telling it to the people, you know, this message is full of grace. This is the only message we, that we have a double grace. Yeah. See? Not only single grace. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why, you know, that's what makes us happy. That's what makes us glad, you know. Imagine. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because God is telling us who we are. Who you, what, 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 what you are. Praise God. You are the priest. You are the high priest. You are the, you know, the priest need the blood. Hallelujah. See? 
we are the priest at the same time, we are the blood at the same time, you are the mercy seat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, praise God. Say, what do you need? What, what do you still need? We don't need anything anymore. Praise God. Say, we don't need a sensation, okay? Hallelujah. Again, I believe in signs and wonders, but brother, this is much greater. See? Imagine because of you, your neighbor will your your neighbor will be saved. Because of you, your friend will be saved. That is the much greater word. What is the much greater word? Soul to be saved. Praise God. Not people. Okay. Not <laughs> see. I believe in signs and wonders. But the prophet said, today you, you can be healed today and tomorrow you will die of the, of the same sickness. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. I have nothing against the signs and wonders. Like I told you, our church is started with signs and wonders. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? I saw so many miracles. But when I saw this message, I like this more. <laughs> Imagine. My friend will be saved. Praise God. Because they are just good to me. See? Imagine your neighbor will be saved. Don't you want your neighbor to be saved, Brother Brian? <laughs> Hallelujah. See? Because one day they come to your door and knock at your door and said, My friend, my neighbor, he is a little, uh, you know, maybe a deer meat or. <laughs> I, shot a, I, I, shot, I shot a deer. Praise God. See? Hallelujah. What's more greater than the soul to be saved? See? That's why, that's why the prophet said, once the bride will know what she is, what you are, you are the blood of Christ. Praise God. What you are, you are the priest of God. What you are, praise God, you are the mercy seat. See? The mercy seat is in, is in the vine. Right? Praise God. Hallelujah. But the mercy seat cannot express, the mercy seat cannot express itself in full in the seven church ages. Amen. Praise God. See, no way for him to express that in the seven church ages. Praise God. It can only be expressed in our time. Praise God. That's why people are looking for the mercy seat. Hallelujah. Amen. See? It is in the mystical body of Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, if, you will un if, if only the bride will understand it. Right? Praise God. Amen. Even your horse, if you have a horse, even your dog, <laughs> if you have a dog, even your cat, God will save it. <laughs> God will give it to you. See? Praise God. Hallelujah. It's so hard to understand it, but I just believe it. Amen. If God can save the dog and the horse, I do believe God can save, can save our children. That's why the prophet said, even how wayward they are, God will give it to you. Those that love you, those who you love. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is what the bride is. Praise God. We are the mercy. You know, I like that what Brother Richard said. We are the extended grace of God. We are the branch, the extended grace, the branch of Amen. God. Hallelujah. The branch of mercy of God in our time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Imagine if all the bride knew who, what she is. Hallelujah. I've been telling you, brother. See, we will be, we will be rejoicing. Right? That's why, the, that's why the scripture is very clear. See? He, she rejoice. She rejoice. Only the bride has something to rejoice with. In the denomination, everything is just emotional. See? Praise God. But to us, hallelujah. You are the gate. Okay? The church is the gate of God going to heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. Many people will pass through that gate because of you. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. See, we are the branches. Now you understand what you are. Praise God. See, you are the priest. 
You are the blood of Christ. You are the mercy seat. Then you are commanded also. You are a prophet. Amen? Let's all stand up. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's sing that song, okay? Praise God. I have fought a good fight. See? Like I say, you know, praise God. When I, when I read that message, when the prophet said, America need, he needs more missionaries. <laughs> you know, I don't understand it. But when I saw these things is happening in America, you know, praise God. I said, we, you, they need to be reminded. They teach us, they taught us that the seventh seal is open. I'm not ashamed, okay, to tell you that the seventh seal is open. I believe it in my heart. Say, I'm a message believer. Praise God. If they are afraid, if they are scared of, of, of their scarecrow, praise God. Let's, let's just pray for them. Praise God. See, this message is different. This is full of grace. Like I told you. Imagine people just be associated with you, be good to you. Right? Are you not happy? Praise God. See, your friend, your loved ones. See, we are crying for our children. We are crying for our loved ones. But the message keep on telling us, don't you worry. Don't you worry, my children. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, we are God's representative on earth. Yeah. You are God's representative to your children, to your loved ones, your friend, to your neighbor. Praise God. If you will only live the life. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. See, everything will be fine. See, even this. Although these things is happening, hallelujah. Praise God. Like I say, God knows what he is doing. Okay? Just don't let your bar, don't let down your bar. I want this church. This church is very close to my heart. I love Brother Lonnie. See? A lot of people don't understand what he is teaching. <laughs> You know, when he went back to the Philippines, they come back here in the state. He's been preaching. He said, he was so excited. He said, now, the opening of the seals. See, now we can see it. Maybe one, uh, they will start there. Boom. There is another, another, another country. They can see this opening of the seal. Boom, 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 boom. Until we saw it, and then rapture will come. He was so excited, you know. Amen. Praise God. When he saw it, you can go back. It's between 1996 and 1997. You can ask Brother Franco, the archives. <laughs> Praise the Lord. See, I've been watching it. I've been following it. Praise God. Amen. See, but today, maybe the bride got tired. You know, where is the power? I said, this is the power. Knowing that you are the blood. Anybody that got in contact with you, they will receive life. Imagine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anybody. Praise God. Got in contact with you. They will receive life. See, just live the life. In that way, praise God, they will say good things to you. Once they say good things to you, God will not forget it. Amen. Praise God. When you say, oh, that brother, brother Chad, oh, that brother Nestor, oh, they are good brother. God will not forget it. Amen. See? Amen. Hallelujah. When your neighbor said, oh, they are good people, we love them. Oh, God will remember that. Are you not happy when you saw your neighbor in the heaven? <laughs> See? <laughs> then when they, went, when they were there, they will be surprised. Why I am here? See? 
They don't know it. See, like I told you. See? They got they got saved. They have no eternal they have they they have the beginning, but they have no end. But we have no beginning and we have no end. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? So don't stop. Okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't stop. We have fought a good fight of faith. Amen? Let's sing that song. I love this song. We always have this song in our church. Every time we have this our anniversary. Because, you know, this is our experience. See? I do believe that is also your, your experience. See? Paul, he also had his experience. I do believe Brother Lone also have his own experience. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's sing the chorus. Then let's sing the first stanza. Let's dedicate it to Brother Lone. Okay? I want to change that Paul to Lone. See? Like I told you, he influenced my ministry. Brother Biscal and he, he turned our country. Brother Chad, in just one visitation, in just one visitation, our country was turned upside down. And it's not an accident that I can say after 30 years, they opened the door for me in Bible way. <laughs> when I was there, I told them the history. I told them what their pastor did. Sometimes their people don't know what their pastor did. Same thing here. A lot of, a lot of people here don't know what Lonis did. See? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he's been fighting for it. If he's watching us today, I can tell them, Brother Lonely, we fight the good fight of faith. You finish your course, we're still going on. We will not stop until the time come. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now we understand who, what we are. We are the blood of Christ. You are the mercy of God. You're the high priest, the mediator of God. <laughs> There's a brother Nelson. Now we don't have any mediator. We have many. <laughs> Before we only have one. But now we have many. You are the chosen generation. Praise God. We are the generation of the royal priesthood. Praise God. Hallelujah. See? More people will be saved if only the bride will know what she is. Oh, I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. I went to some hard times, but made it by His grace. The battle's almost over. I have run the race. I have fought. The good fight, I am can of it. First stanza. There was a man named Lonnie who was tested and was tried. He suffered for the message, but God was on his side. At the end of had a victory and he said I have finished my course a cross awaits for me oh I have fought the good fight I have kept the faith I went through some hard times but made it by Let 
me sing this for you. Looking back. Looking back through all my years, there's battles along the way. Persecution, pains, and tears, I struggle day by day. But through it all, one thing I know, in Christ is victory. And when my life is over, my testament will be chorus. I have fought a good fight. I have kept my story. I've been through some hard times, but made it by His grace. The battle almost over. I have Amen. How many of you want to fight the good fight? Keep the truth marching forward. Brother Branham said that all that Christ was, he poured into the church until she becomes he. Amen. Whatever he was when he was on earth, now through the branches, he's manifesting the same thing. Say, God, help us to abide in the vine and surrender our life and let him flow his life out through us. And when it says prophesy again, if we look through the Bible, the Bible is the record of the prophecy of the prophets. It's written of the prophets all the way through the Old Testament and coming up into the New. Amen. And every one of them was resisted, rejected, persecuted. But their prophecy changed the course of history. What they said changed lives. What they said brought God's manifestation on the earth. What they spoke, amen, became reality to a people. What's our job after we've eaten the open book to prophesy again? What can we expect? Probably everything the prophets had before and what Jesus Christ suffered with. But you know that word won't return unto him void. But it'll accomplish what he sent it out to do. Amen. When we speak the word, it's got a power. When we speak the mystery of God revealed, it has its own life and its own power, and it'll accomplish its own work. We're not looking for our power to do anything. It's the power of the spoken word. Help us to keep speaking this true word, this revelation of the hour, and share it with whoever will hear. May God help us. May God help us to be a true vine. A true branch connected to the true vine. Amen. God bless you as you go. May the Lord bless you as you appreciate your mothers and appreciate this day we've set aside. And mothers, I think you heard today that you're intercessors. That you have the power of intercessor for the ones you love because you stand in the position of intercession. May God give you the faith to intercede for your children and those that you love. Amen. God bless you all. Let's bow our heads together and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you've given to us. God, it's sometimes surreal, the age that we live in. It's so beyond just the, just the, the common life that we see. But God, there's something so supernatural you're accomplishing through our lives, through our flesh. God, forgive us, Lord, for the times that we lose sight of what it is that this age is all about and what you're trying to accomplish. God, we get focused on the wrong things sometimes and distracted by things. But God, you've brought us back today to a remembrance, Lord, of what this message is all about and what our part is in it and why you've raised us up in this day and why you've redeemed us back to yourself and connected us back to the vine so that you can flow your life right out through the vine, through the branches, and that you could reproduce the same fruit again in our lives. 
God, help us to rejoice in that, Lord, for as long as you have a bride on this earth, there's an opportunity for life. Lord, as long as you have a mouthpiece, Lord, as long as you have an intercessor, as long as you have a priest on this earth, Lord, there's still a hope. God, help us not to lose sight of that. Help us to value it and appreciate it and give our lives for it. Oh, we love you. Thank you for the reminder, Lord. Thank you for focusing our glasses so that we can see you more clearly and we can see ourselves. God, as Brother Nestor said in the beginning when she knows what she is. God, what is the vine? What is the branch? They're part of the same thing, of the same plant, of the same life, of the same works. What is she? She's part of this bride tree and the bridegroom tree united back together. God, help us never to lose focus of that. Lord, I pray you'd bless us as we go and many of us will go and enjoy Mother's and Mother's Day and dinners and celebrations and we'll give thanksgiving and gratitude for what you've done in our lives and may we never forget what we heard today. God, may it come and affect us each one in a powerful way. Lord, we ask that you would bless us. Bless Brother Nestor and Sister Hannah as they continue their travel and journey back home here in a few days. Be with them, Lord, and bless them brother Nestor and his ministry back home refresh him and refill him and use him Lord God we commit ourselves to you God help us Lord to stay connected and abide and allow that life to flow through us we ask it in Jesus Christ's name Amen Amen God bless you all Oh it's manifesting time Oh, the fruits are on the vine And the lovely one is coming in plain view Oh, to cap God's chosen bride Redemption draweth nigh Oh, he's that lovely one He's coming in plain view Beloved, behold, he quickly comes, sweeping over the mountains, over the hills, he runs. Oh, I long to hear his voice, I long to hear him say, Arise, my love, my fair one, come away. Oh
wonderful Jesus is to me. He's my counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He's saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. And oh, my heart sings today, sings for joy and gladness. Jesus saves, satisfies, banishes my sadness. Guilt is gone, peace is mine, peace like to a river. Jesus is wonderful and mighty to deliver. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. He's saving me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Oh, living here with my Lord in a holy union. Day by day, all the way, holding sweet communion. Oh, what change! Grace has rocked in my lowly station Since my soul has received full and free salvation Wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me He's my counselor, Prince of Grace Mighty God is He He's saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame One more time. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. My counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is me. He's saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, pray His name. Well, every day with Jesus, is sweeter than the day before oh every day with jesus i love him more and more jesus saves and keeps me and he's the one i'm living for every day with jesus is sweeter than the day time. Oh, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love Him more and more. Jesus saves and keeps me, and He's the one I'm living for. 